السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters We are coming right near the middle of Ramadan Right near the middle Halfway through the Ramadan Look how fast the time has gone Look how fast the Ramadan is It's just flying by isn't it You don't realize how fast it's going It's just going so fast We're coming halfway through why is it, I just want to ask, why is it that we have to just lose something to realize the value of it? Why is it that we have to have a death in our family, a really close person has to die for us to realize their value? Why is it that something really bad needs to happen to us to realize our own value? Why is it that we have to lose the whole of the Ramadan and at the end of it, we need to sit down on our beds and just ask ourselves, what did I do with my Ramadan? Did I really close? Did I really bring my heart close to the Quran? Did I really memorize the Quran as much as I said I was going to plan it? I was going to memorize it. Did I really perform all of my salahs that I was going to perform? I was saying I'm going to attend every single tarawih and I'm going to bring my heart so close to the Quran, so close. I'm going to get so much out of this Ramadan. Did I get everything out? Did you get everything out of the Ramadan? Did I even get to complete the Quran as we promised? That in, right in the start of Ramadan, I said I'm going to complete it. I probably even promised myself I'm going to complete one Quran halfway through and I'm going to go for two Qurans, maybe one even at the 20th. And I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Did I really bring my heart so close to the Quran? It's going to be gone in another two weeks' time. Just over two weeks' time. Why do we have to just lose it to realize the value of it? Time. Allah SWT swears in the Quran so many times, in so many surahs, by time. Wallayl is a yaksha, wal duha, wallayl, wal asr. So many times. I'm only mentioning a couple, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions so many times in the Quran by time. Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need to prove his point? But does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to take a qasam? Does he have to take a oath or anything to prove his point that yes, this is what he's saying? No, he doesn't. But still, why is he? It's emphasizing, isn't it? Why is it saying to make us realize the importance of times? And this is one thing, Spana, one of the five things is the hadith as well. Rasul says, save it before you lose it. And what is it? Time before it's gone. You need to save it. But we have to wait for a trial to hit us to realize, you know what, this was the time. We have to wait for the whole of the Ramadan to finish to realize, you know what, oh my God, another Ramadan's come. Who's promised us? Who's promised us the next Ramadan? Who's promised you 14, 34, that you're going to be there alive? Who's promised me that I'm not going to be in my grave at that time? And what if I'm in there and I'm regretting the last Ramadan? I had the opportunity. I had the opportunity to do this, to do that. I'll give my own example, like if, if I'm like doing my own job, I'm self-employed and I'm doing my own thing, I've got so much time and I'm not utilizing my free time, I can move my time to the right and I can do this, I can perform my salat in Jama'at at times, I can go to Taraweeh for the whole night, I can stay away till Fajr, it might be a different situation for you, whatever, however you can shift this, shift that around, but are we utilizing our time? We, we have lost almost half of Ramadan. So the only point what I'm trying to make over here is think about it, inshallah. What are we getting out of this Ramadan? What are we getting out of this time? Our prophets, our prophets as well, they came and it's like they didn't have to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not choose someone who he taught a lesson to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught a lesson to someone and then he said, okay, this person has passed the test, I'm going to choose him to be the best. I'm going to choose him to be a prophet. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose his prophet right from the start right from the beginning and they used it have like no al islam 18 1900 years of islam even though he only could get just over 30 people to follow him why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him right from the beginning rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't choose him okay you are 40 years old now you've been good you've been this you've been that and then i'm good no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him right from the start he was good al mu'min he was right a mu'min right from the beginning we don't need to wait for a trial to hit us and make us better. We need to realize right now, this moment, and not lose another Ramadan, another fast, another soul. We don't need to wait for another Ramadan. We need to realize it right now in 1433, year 2012. We need to realize right now, before this Ramadan is gone, before we hit the last 10 days, before we hit another episode, before we hit another Taraweeh, 
we need to realize right now we are in Ramadan and we are blessed right now we are alive we are alive this is one of the biggest blessings we are still being given so many deaths are happening right now so many deaths are there or so many close people they've lost their grandmothers they've lost it, their fathers one of my really close friends he lost his brother-in-law at the age of 38 leaving three children behind why do we have to wait for these sort of things to come to us and then we realize you know what yeah we are blessed and this and that and then okay we start now no don't wait for anything to come to you realize right now you are a muslim i am a muslim as well we are in the month of ramadan we are in the blessed time we are in the best of time we are the best of ummah and we are the best of the creation realize right now inshallah and let's get the best 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 out of the rest of the 14 16 days that we have left let's get the best out of it finish the quran off as soon as you can inshallah in this ramadan try to memorize another couple of surahs that you can inshallah utilize your time utilize your time inshallah get the best out of this ramadan do not wait for 1434 do not wait for until your next year do not wait for 31st of december to hit the big bang or whatever realize right now inshallah may allah help us to realize wake up right now right now this moment and inshallah may help us to realize that we are the best of the creation that he has blessed us with the best of the religions the best of the religion inshallah jazakumallah khair inshallah on the next episode i've got a big surprise for you guys inshallah big surprise so catch you inshallah in the next episode assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oh, uh -huh.